Hello and welcome back to more Vintage Cube Draft. Um, okay, first of all, we have no power, but that's okay. Um, we have some good cards though. Mana Drain, Renin 6, Prismatic Vista, Infernal Grasp, Watery Grave. Uh, Eternal Witness to a lesser extent and Duress 2. Grist is pretty good. I like Gideon. Actually, this whole pack is quite strong. It's not like cards you'd want to first pick, um, but they're then like basically after that, they're like very good second, third picks. Um, I, and I'm, oh, there's Birthing Pod too. Love that card. Um, there's a couple decisions we can go for. First is taking Mana Drain. I think raw power level, this is the strongest card. Um, the downside of Mana Drain is that it's double blue. And I think my win rate with Mana Drain is actually lower than you would expect because I often try and force this in decks. I think if we're trying to draft for maximizing win rate, Prismatic Vista is the best pick. It's just the best fetch. Uh, I'm going to take Mana Drain, though. It's, Mana Drain is just a ridiculously strong card, especially with Time Spiral. I love, I love Mana Drain into Time Spiral. Um, yeah, I mean, again, this card, it's great if you end up in blue. The problem is it's Vintage Cube, so the odds of like going into blue or ending up in blue are very low. Um, so, you know, you just have to be aware that like you're going to take this and maybe you're, you'll end up playing it 30% of the time or something like that. Um, unless you're like hardcore forcing blue and then you're going to end up with not the best deck. That being said, Time Spiral, I think we're just going to take. Here, there's Spell Pierce. Is it Signet? Treasure Cruise is a good one. Um, I like Spell Pierce and Cruise. Treasure Cruise, when you have Time Spiral in your deck, gets quite a bit worse. Just because if you've shuffled your graveyard back into your deck, you now no longer can draw cards. So I think we're just going to take Spell Pierce, try and cut blue off. I know Is It Signet is really good too, but I'm not as big of a fan of the Signets as I used to be. And also, um, Spell Pierce is a great card. Being able to interact on turn one is very important. Here we have Gear Hulk, um, which gets better when you have Mana Drain. Uh, sea Chrome Coast can help us splash things like Oust, Swords to Plowshares, um, things like that. Our kind of cruelty is a lot better than I originally thought it was, so I like that one. It feels pretty bad taking Gear Hulk this early, so I guess I'll take the Sea Chrome Coast. Okay, there's Dig Through Time, Lightning Strike, Kozilek, Lotus Bloom, um, Wern Power Stone, maybe? It's like okay with Time Spiral and decent with Mana Drain. Also, Mana Drain into Mind Slaver is a thing, but I think I'm going to take Dig. I don't like it. I think as much as Treasure Cruise, although it's an instant, so actually that's quite a bit better. If you're holding up Counter Magic and then you just like end of turn dig through time, it's a pretty messed up card. Um, here, Season Parliamentary is very good. Rexian Revoker I like, and then Memory Jar is good if we're trying to go Storm. Let's just, uh, we have Mana Drain, so it's not even just for a Storm, right? Like Mana Drain into Memory Jar is just a strong play, so it's not like I'm forcing anything too hard. Balance is really bad in a deck like this. Uh, I think Liliana, if we end up going like blue-black control, is probably the best. Um, Emery Memory Jar is also pretty nice, though. Emery Jar? That's a thing? Um, yeah, that's good. We can get like Black Lotus, Lion's Eye Diamond, Tolarian Academy. This late has got to be a sign. Um, if we're trying to play conservatively, we take Charter Course, but I think we're going to take Tolarian Academy and try and do some artifact stuff. He says after... This pack, someone took Mystical Tutor, which makes sense. Um, I mean, Birthing Pod doesn't really go with our stuff. Duress is probably the card we're most likely to want. Although, we do have white. We could transition into blue-white. I think Gideon, if you're trying to win, this is probably the correct play. But I think Duress is also similar. Yeah, there's Wrath of God. I'll take Wrath. I don't think Gideon's like the most important card in the world. I will take a Crucible of Worlds, though. I love this card. Um, Soulfire, sure, in case I get a Time Walk or whatever. Again, I don't even know if it's worth like running this card just in, like, if you just have Time Walk, it might just be better not running this card because it's a 2-minute two 2-2 two -two lifelink. Um, it's good if you care about it, right? If you're an aggressive blue-white deck and you care about attacking, then of course you run this and Time Walk. But in decks that, like, let's say you're just... I don't know, mono control. I don't necessarily know if it's worth running this um, just because you have time walk. Kozilek, Spectral Procession. I'm going to take Cozy. I'm feeling something. I think 
if I'm wanting to win, I should be transitioning into a white deck. But that's almost always the case, and it's kind of boring that that's always the case. <laughs> oh boy. Um, all right. Well, that's a lot of things. I've been opening so much power. In contrast to like most other Vidget Cube seasons, I legitimately opened like not a lot. This is insane. Um, so I have Emery. Black Lotus is very tempting. I think it's. We have Time Spiral and Memory Jar and Emery. I gotta take Black Lotus here and Tolarian Academy. It's pretty unfortunate to pass Ancestral Recall, but sometimes you gotta do what you gotta do. Here we can take, let's see, there's a Tezzeret. Tezzeret can go find Black Lotus, so that's pretty tempting. The rest of this pack is actually really bad, so I guess we're just taking a Tezzeret really early. Yogmoss will Black Lotus. All right, well, we're doing something. Um, yeah, I can't risk this not coming around. It just... Yeah. Well, can I? Is this even good? This is a very good question. Yongwil, Metamorphose. Metalworker is fine, I guess. I'm just going to take it. We'll figure it out later. Uh, Mana Flare. So we have Mana Flare Time Spiral now. Creeping Tar Pit can help with the black mana for Duress Yongwil, but it's not the best like mana fixing you're looking for. This is a pretty awkward Dark Confidant deck if we're running uh, Kozilek and stuff like that. I mean, Mana Flare, Memory Jar, Time Spiral is a good start. All right, I'll take the Mana. Well, I probably want High Tide, but I guess if I want High Tide, I'm probably not taking Creeping Tar Pit either. I'll take the Mana Flare. Ooh, Minds of Desire, such a good magic card. Um, Azorius Signet would be good too, but I think I gotta take the Desire. It's just like... The possibility of going uh, Mind's Desire into like Mana Flare Time Spiral or something is really good. Here we have Wishclaw Talisman to play the role of Bad Demonic Tutor. Although actually, it is an artifact. So if we happen to get Inker, like... I guess you can't Tinker after you've activated, right? Your opponent gets it right away. Yeah, okay. But it being an artifact does matter, right? We can cast it off Emery and things. Emery's getting a lot better. I'm glad I picked her up. This Mana Flare... Well, this Wrath of God is almost certainly not getting in. Um, main Deck Duress is actually something I'm kind of okay with. And then Crucible of Worlds is a bit suspicious. Um, so there is Empty the Warrens. But I don't think that's a Storm Windcon worth, like, splashing. I'm going to take Top. Normally I don't love Top, but when you have Tolarian Academy, just, like, one mana artifacts are pretty important. And this one's alright. Like, if you have Shuffle Effects or whatever, it can do some stuff. Uh, Thran Dynamo Repeal Oblivion Stone. I love Repeal, but this is feeling, let's see, Tezzeret, he can instantly minus four. Also, Thran Dynamo plus Tezzeret is just an insane amount of mana, so I think I'll do that. Sort by mana value. Um, Marsh Flats can help with the mana. Thassa's Oracle can be a win con. It's a pretty easy win condition, actually, if we can just go off with Mind's, Mind's Desire. So I guess I'll take that. I don't really have anything to go with Marshallettes anyway. Yeah, this pack was horrendous. I'll take a land tax, I guess. I'm not really playing white. I could take bone shards because I don't really have any removal, but that's not even the removal that I want. Okay, here comes Palancron to go with our Mana Flare. So this deck really wants High Tide. Like High Tide is just like Mana Flare, but better. Um, also, any type of mana fixing would be good because I have zero. I mean, our deck is like relatively colorless but like i don't know if i can run duress without fixing right now but if we do that then we just have two black cards a red card we're casting very late and a dark confidant which may end up in the deck if i'm feeling crazy um makeshift mannequin i guess if we get emrakul then makeshift mannequin gets a little bit better um i don't think charter course is coming around but you know like frantic search and stuff like that frantic search animate emrakul is pretty good I just don't even, like, want to acknowledge Ludwig's existence. Maybe he's fine, I don't know, but he seems really bad. Alright, they gave us the Tundra, that's unfortunate. Um, here we have Golos. So, Golos is an artifact, can grab Tolarian Academy. So that's pretty relevant. Jataxian Probe is just free storm and information. I don't really have anything to Skull Clamp that's super useful. Um, Tundra is a blue-white land, but... I'm not really playing any white cards, so it's not amazing. I think I'm just going to pick up this Golos. How am I getting up to 5 and 6 mana? 
That is a very good question. I don't really have an answer for you. Uh, fast bond is good. I need to take the time twister first, though. Um, this could definitely be a deck where splashing fast bond is kind of necessary, though, just because we're so reliant on ooh LED. Um, we're so reliant on fast mana. Ooh, Mishra's Workshop too. Wait, this is a pretty good Mishra's Workshop deck. Well, actually, it's just a fine Workshop deck. I'm gonna take LED though. It's so good with Academy and Yogmoss Will. That makes our storm like potential so much better. Um, if we can get Spellseeker or something like Brain Freeze would be really helpful. Demir Signet. I think I just have to take Snapcaster Mage. We don't actually have too much to snap back. Liliana is good. Thoughtseize would be nice, but the Signet fixes my mana and is an artifact. Uh, there's Tendrils. Sorry, Strip Mine. Sorry, Swords, but Tendrils gives us a win con. I don't think I need Thassa's Oracle anymore. I don't think I need Mana Flare, but I guess we'll see. Probably not playing Crucible of Worlds. Probably not playing Makeshift Mannequin. Of all of these, Thassa's Oracle is the most likely to make it in the deck. Or I guess Duress as well. I still don't know why Rite of Harmony is in the cube, but that's okay. Uh, Blood Crypt does help with Mana Flare, so I'll take that. Commit Memory would be nice too, a bit of interaction, but I think this deck probably is going to want Mana Flare, because Black Lotus casting Mana Flare and then going off is a really strong sequence. I don't have Turnabout, but I do have Time Spiral, that's right. Uh, Tezzeret being able to get Wishclaw Talisman is pretty relevant as well. And Kozilek being hittable off Mind's Desire is something. Uh, Everflowing Chalice, Ancestral Vision. How much card draw do I have? I guess I have Time Twister and Time Spiral. And I have a bunch of expensive cards. We're just going to take Chalice. Um, Kodol the Forge Master is fine, but... Ooh, Coalition Relic is like the perfect card. Yeah, that solves my mana woes. It ramps me. Yeah, that's great. Okay, so now I could probably main deck Duress. Um, Legionnaire, Scholar, Confidant, Ekrom Coast. If I need playables, Thassa's Oracle, I like... Ulamog the Seashore's Hungler. What even was that word? I like Ulamog more than Kozilek, I think. Ooh, we get Cabal Ritual too. That's great. Yeah, I'll take that. Mirari's Wake is tempting, but I think if I cast Minds of I should be winning anyway. Expressive Iteration came around. Have people read this card? All right. The Electroman and Rakdos Signet. Uh, I feel like... For this particular deck, Rakdos Signet is a bit better. We could take a Mutavolt, Firebolt. Firebolt is actually quite a bit better than Trophy against like the cards we care about are like Thalia, the uh, Glow Rider, or whatever the three mana flyer that makes things is basically Thalia. Those are the cards we care about. I think I'm cutting the Eldrazi. We have quite a few playables. Chalice, Mana Drain, Sensei Stop. So we have Spell Pierce, Duress as our interaction. Everything else is like Ramp. I don't know about Palancron, but because we have Mind's Desire, Palancron being in the deck is pretty relevant. We get a Forge Master. I don't even think I play it. Someone took Academy but passed Forge Master. Strange. So we have 26 right now. Um, a big part of me is actually thinking about just cutting Dig Through Time because I don't actually have that many cards that go into my graveyard and. I have two like Time Twister, Time Spiral, so the odds of me having anything in my graveyard are actually pretty low. And because I have you know Time Twister, Time Spiral, Memory Jar, I don't need that much card draw. So we're cutting Dig. Again, might seem crazy, but that's the reasoning. Actually, for that reason, I might just cut Expressive Iteration as well. And then we can kind of count Black Lotus as a land. The mana situation is going to be really wild, though. So we just have Mana Flare. But we can get red off LED Black Lotus. I don't even think I'm going to add a basic mountain. Um, black mana we're casting basically when we're going off as well. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. And we have actually quite a good amount of black fixing. We want double blue because I think most of our combo turns are going to start with Mana Drain or like Time Twister. So we want to make sure we can cast all of those. We do have Tolerian Academy. So... I think I'm gonna add one extra swamp here because right now we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, uh, eleven, twelve, like thirteen blue. So that's actually pretty good blue fixing. Um, yeah, black fi fixing is good. And then again, mana flare. We're mostly gonna want to cast off black lotus or LED anyway. 
So I'm not very concerned about getting fixing for that. That's the deck. Let's see how it does. See you guys around one. All right, we're playing against Abnormal Euphoria. It says, hey, big fan. I say thanks, good luck, have fun. So there's a couple things we can do. Um, we can keep this hand, hope to draw a land. That makes things easy. If we don't draw a land, we can Black Lotus out Coalition Relic, which I think is probably just what I want to do, set up for like a quick time spell or something. I think I'm going to keep this hand. I have Black Lotus Mana Drain. It's hard to, hard to mulligan that. They suspend vision. Okay. We don't draw a land. Oh, wait, this is even better. Island, Black Lotus. Sack this for blue. Cast Coalition Relic. Then cast Emery. Seems good. I milled all of my lands, but if they don't kill Emery, we're in great shape. And they don't kill Emery. Nice. And I draw a land. This, this could not have gone better. All right, cast Black Lotus. Play a land. And I guess I'm just going to charge up Coalition Relic slash hold up Mana Drain for a turn here. Because next turn I'm going to get double Black Lotus off Emery. And that's going to be very good. They cycle Shark Typhoon. Sure. So I just want them to cast a 3 drop here. Yes, definitely going to counter that. Um, I guess we'll just do it here. We Mana Drain to Fairy. And now we have all the mana in the world. I feel every time I play against a fan, I just do dirty things. Duress. Um, if they had Force of Will, they definitely counter there. So I don't think I need to duress pre-combat. We add a bunch of mana. We can Black Lotus for blue. Can I Golos into Telerian Academy Time Spiral? I might be able to do that, actually. Black Lotus for blue. Cast Golos, floating a blue. Yes, grab Telerian, cast Black Lotus, then cast Time Spiral, or maybe, I mean, yeah, if I Time Spiral, I'm going to have a bunch, but I lose my Black Lotus Emery loop. Let's duress them and decide. Teferi, Narset, oh, they went for Narset, okay, so if I just hit Narset, they don't actually have any plays this turn. So, given that, I think I could just play Memory Jar now. And I'll charge this. Yeah, they have no place, which is awesome. During Wildwood, go. And we have Time Spiral. I think I like that more than Memory Jar, but I guess I could do... Ooh, I draw a land. Perfect. So let's add blue here. Play land. Cast Black Lotus. Uh, tap this. Stack this. Or blue, cast time spiral, untap our lands. So I have mana drain, so let's cast LED, Sensei's top. <laughs> I might actually be able to activate Golos if I really want to. Um, so let's look at the top three. Because we're pretty close to being able to just tendrils. Chalice Island Swamp. Okay. Um, what am I doing? Let's tap this for a bunch of mana. I guess just cast Cabal Ritual. Um, hold can- er, I guess I just crack Memory Jar. I don't really want to discard my hand. <laughs> okay, we have Yogmaw's Will. Um, let's Sensei's top to look at the top three. Okay, there we go. Mind's Desire and Tendrils. So I think we're just going to cast- Mind's Desire, because I can Yogmas will back Mind's Desire. So let's cast Chalice for some amount. Kicks twice, sure. Actually, this is 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Yeah, let's cast this kicked once. Then we flip top. Then we cast Mind's Desire. Then we Yogmas will this Mind's Desire. If we need to. Okay, there's tendrils. Uh, duress them, see what's going on. Okay, okay, we did it. <laughs> that was actually really close to being bad. So they have Narset, which is a big problem. Like a huge problem for my deck. I have Spell Pierce Duress Mana Drain, so I can just kind of mulligan into those. I could bring an Evil Death Draco Lich to like hit him. Um, I think I'm just going to try it the same way though for now. 
I mean, I will keep this hand. Teferi is actually also slightly problematic for this deck. Ooh, Chalice is good. So I can go Sensei's top. And we're not going to activate top on upkeep because we're just going to cast Chalice turn two. They also could have counter magic or whatever. Um, actually, let's go with Signet. Because Chalice has the potential to be multi-kicked. This also gives me black man if I draw Duress or whatever. Next turn, I can go Thran Dynamo into Everflowing Chalice. There's my Swamp. Let's play the Swamp, play Thran Dynamo. They might counter this, but that leaves the door for Tezzeret. Mana Leak is fine. So next turn, I can go Tezzeret if I want to. I also, if I had nothing else in hand, I could have played LED to play around Mana Leak. Here comes Narset, yeah. Um, the thing is, we are just going to try and ultimate Tezzeret and attack Narset to death. They get Elspeth. They can't play her next turn. Go Island. I'm going to play LED, actually, because if they try and, like, spell pierce Tezzeret, I just need it to resolve. And then... Oh, they can attack Tezzeret with Stirring Wildwood. That's true. But maybe they don't. Then we pass... Turn. I mean, actually, if I play Everflowing Chalice without Kicker, I do have Lethal next turn. If they don't attack Tezzeret, but they could just attack Tezzeret. I'm going to give my opponent the benefit of the doubt. I think they're just going to do that. Oh, or Teferi. Sure. Either way, I think it's better to, yeah, keep Tezzeret around. So I can still top into Tezzeret. Swords to Plowshares. All right, we are in deep trouble. Um... I think I top on upkeep, because I cannot activate top to draw, so I need to be proactive here. And yeah, we're just going to recast Tezzeret. Can't draw more than one card each turn, so I can top on my opponent's turn. Womp. So I have exactly enough mana to cast him. Play Tezzeret. And I'm drawing Yogmoth's Will, but I don't have, like, Mind's Desire or anything to go with it. They're going to play Elspeth next turn, I think. She's going to make three things that can block. So I can uptick Tezzeret, or I can minus zero. I think I like minus zero. Just grab Black Lotus to reshuffle my deck. So we have the mana. Here comes big, oh, bribery. They can steal my Palancron, I guess. Oh, bribery for Palancron is insane in this position. <laughs> it also lets them see my deck, too. Yeah, they just get a free Palancron and Elspeth. That's sick. Here comes Elspeth. So I need to get ridiculously lucky here. That Narset is so problematic. Which is why I think the card is just like... Nothing against my opponent or anything. Just like the card being in the cube makes for these situations where it's like, well, I literally can't beat this one card that also happened to draw you two cards. Um, so we top on upkeep. King Black. Tendrils Island Swamp. Um, guess I'll draw Tendrils. And then, what do I do? I guess I'll top again. Time Twister is terrible. I mean, it would be good, but I can't actually draw any cards. Um, is there anything I can get with Tezzer that would do anything? He's gonna die. So I can get like Thran Dynamo. Just minus four and see what we're going to hit. I'm pretty much losing this game 99% of the time. Oh, Wishclaw Talisman. Wishclaw Talisman, you say? Okay. I like that. Let's Wishclaw. Then cast this for zero. Then back Black Lotus. I guess that's my red mana. Tendrils them, then I can Wishclaw for Yawgmoth's will? Yeah, Tendrils you. Then Crack LED for black. Wishclaw Talisman. I might actually be able to do this. Grab Yawgmoth's will. Cast Yawgmoth's will. If they don't have counter magic, that is game. They brainstorm? Okay, I mean, that's a good sign. That actually adds to my storm count too. Then we cast LED. Then we cast Black Lotus. Then we sack LED for black mana. Then we cast Thran Dynamo. Then we tendrils them out. I think actually them uh, 
casting brainstorm let me kill them? Oh, that was really, really close. I cannot be believe I beat a Narset. Well, I just their whole board, right? Like, <laughs> Mandalik, Bribery, Narset, and all that jazz. No. No! I forgot about swords! <laughs> I no longer have a win con, I don't think. Uh, I don't think there was any way I was beating swords on Palancron. I, I think I could have sequenced so that I beat... Um, I can't cast Tezzeret. Alright. I'm at 40 life, but they're going to kill me very quickly. Alright, alright. I, I could have beaten swords on a soldier. I don't think I was beating swords on Tezzeret. So, do they think they're going to keep in bribery? I think I might just cut Palancron. Like, that lost me the game. Having Palancron in my deck. Because they swords a soldier. I think there was a sequence where I could have played Tezzeret into other stuff. Um, I'm happy with that sequencing. I'm sad with the outcome. I'll put it that way. I'll bring in Firebolt. That can deal with Narset. And I have Blood Crypt, Recto Signet, and some other stuff to get there. Go first. Yeah, I mean, this is an Emery Academy hand. They keep seven again? You can't... You can't keep getting away with it. Okay, they had Mana Leak, but that's okay. Did not want to draw another land there. They have Spell Pierce too? Oh no. Well, actually, that's fine. I have Emery. But their deck is very well suited for this matchup. Caracas? No! <laughs> And it lands! Oh my gosh, this is so bad. I mean, I guess I cast her in case they forget about Caracas, but this is really bad. Oh, that actually worked out really well. Okay, they forgot they could Caracas Emery. I also forgot that Emery was a creature in my deck <laughs> that they could get. And then here comes Teferi. Oh my gosh. Alright, I need to draw like Time Twister right now. Or another land. All right, let's double black. This, yeah, this is unfortunate. We played okay. I think keeping this hand was a bit sketchy, but I did draw three lands in a row. And we're dying very quickly. My opponent's deck is like all of the messed up Planeswalkers from history. Okay, Cabal Ritual does something, I guess. They've already used Spell Pierce Mana Leak, so if we happen to hit Time Twister, then we could be in some amount of shape. And they have Archangel Avacyn, I guess. Oh my gosh. Yeah, sometimes this happens. Yeah, Archangel Avacyn. So I have like one turn. Yep, yep, yep. All right, that's seven, eight, nine, ten. Yeah, I can go to one here, I think. So we need Time Spiral. I think that's the only card that can do it. Nope, never mind. I don't think I can possibly win now. Please don't draw Time Spiral, that'd just be a kick in the face. Alright, Chalice. Cast a really big Chalice and then concede. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, so I can cast it four times. That's brutal. Narset is uh, not a fun magic card, that's for sure. I mean, she didn't really stop me. Draw a land, pop into Time Spiral. So, I should have just mulliganed my opener, I think. I needed a faster hand. I yeah, I should have mulliganed. My deck is Black Lotus. Like, <laughs> that, that was just purely my mistake. See you guys next round. Hello, before we get to the rest of the draft, I'm just letting you know that this video is sponsored by me, again. Um, I'm actually doing pet commissions now for Christmas or for gifts or really whatever you want them for. Um, but I finally got my art creation process to the point where I can do commissions fairly consistently. Um, so if you want to turn your cat into a beautiful work of art, um, this one I'm quite a fan of too. I could turn your cats into, you know, a scene, like a mountain. So this is two cats. Uh, their tails are touching and they're kind of kissing, but it's an abstract mountain scene. This is a dog that I turned into outer space. Um, this, this one's quite awesome, actually. It's a dog made out of, like, mossy tree bark. Uh, this is another cat turned into the tree style. So right now I'm only starting with a couple styles, but I'm going to keep adding them as I go. So if you're interested in getting this, you can go to my store, uh, shop.kalebgannon.com. It'll be in the description. Uh, go to shop now, and then um, you can see there's different sizes. You can get things framed or unframed, uh, and it's pretty straightforward. And then you just upload your image. So if you're interested in that, it makes a great gift uh, for friends, and it's just an awesome piece of art. Thank you guys. Enjoy the draft. All right, we're playing against Accolade. Tell our opponent, hey, good luck, have fun. Um, yeah, I'll keep this hand. Uh, we get a fast memory jar plus LED. Being on the draw is not great, but 
what are you going to do? When it leads on polluted delta, that doesn't give me a whole lot of information. I, there could be a world where I'm supposed to lead island to hold up mana drain turn two, but I think almost always I'm going to cast Rakdos Signet on turn two. But I, don't, I, I guess there is a world where I do that, so I should lead island. Okay, they lead on Signet. Their mana looks good. Polluted Delta Watergrave Score Blend is scary. And basically, anytime I play against opponents with like good mana, I just kind of assume they know what they're doing. Because generally, one of the, the. I'm not saying people who don't have good mana don't know what they're doing. I mean, my mana is horrendous. Um, and I may or may not know what I'm doing. But like, that's one of the first things, especially in higher powered cubes, that you learn very quickly is that there's so many good cards. The most important thing is being able to cast your spells. Ooh, Metalworker. All right, we are in for. Oh, am I going to get Sundering Titaned? That always happens. And I'm not even playing like a bunch of lands, but that would be a way to punish me for <laughs> um, the leading with Blood Crypt instead of Island. So let's go like this. All right, Emery only costs two. So I could just do this. This plays around days. And I could have played LED, but we're saving that for Mind's Desire. Okay, Time Spiral and Time Twister in my graveyard. That's unfortunate. All right, opponent, do your worst with Metalworker. Two cards have entered the revealed. Winter or Basalt Monolith. Both of those are fine. They also overtap for Winter Orb, which is pretty good, unless they have something to cast for green. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. What did you hit? They hit Tendrils. I literally can't win. Um... Actually, I can kill them with Palancron, I suppose. That's upsetting. So we attack here. <laughs> oh, they hit tendrils. Um, okay, so what now? Do I just go for a fast Palancron? Can I cast Palancron this turn? One, two, three, four, five? No. I think my only shot at this is hitting them with Palancron. Um... I mean, there's no way I'm winning, right? No. One, two, three, four, five, six. If I draw a land, maybe I can get somewhere. All right, let's attack them with Emery. The thing is, like, I don't even think that play is, like, that good. They just Winter Orb themselves down. Grand Dynamo, Duress, Island. Okay. Oh, unless they drew more artifacts per turn. Oh, they hit Mind Slaver, which they can cast and then activate. No, they can't activate. Honestly, Mindslaver doesn't do much against me. I think we're just on the attack with Palancron a bunch of times plan. Uh, I need to hit a land for this to work, though. Or Yawgmoth's Will. Alright, I'm done for that. Cabal Ritual. Lion's Eye Diamond. Hold Control. Cast Yawgmoth's Will. Stack LED for black. Then Yogmoth's Will activates. We cast LED for blue. Then 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So I can go Cabal Ritual into... Uh, I don't even think... I, I want to look at my deck really quick. All right, I'm glad I did. I have Tezzeret and Golo. So I could play Tezzeret, uptick Tezzeret. Uh, that doesn't work because they have Mind Slaver. So actually playing Tezzeret doesn't do anything because of Mind Slaver. I can hit Golos, which does increase my clock. So I guess I will play into that. So, yeah, let's go Demir Signet. Yeah, okay, okay. We can still win this game. We Demir Signet. We Palancron. Untap our lands. One, two, three, four, five, six for Mind's Desire. There's Tezzeret, which they can kill with Mind Slaver, but they need an untapped land for that. So we can go Telerian Academy, Black Lotus, Tezzeret. Uh, Tezzeret will untap these two. I'm not going to cast Mana Flare um, or Spell Pierce or anything. And then Ashiok is kind of a problem as well, right? I can't even hit Golos because he costs five. But if I time spiral, they're just going to get a bunch of mana. Oh, I think I do need to cast Memory Jar, actually. One, two, three, 
four, five. Because I need to be able to attack with that. And then we pass turn, we attack. Uh, let's just pass turn, actually. Our ultimate is, yeah. As long as they don't have an untapped land, we win. They do have the untapped land. That's unfortunate. Now I just die. And they hit Golos. Right? I mean, yeah, they just activate Mindslaver and I die. Alright. Good game, good game. I had to go for it. If they didn't draw... I mean, they had one card in hand, so, like, the odds of them hitting a land are pretty low. If they don't, I activate Tezzeret. These become 5-5s. Five -fives. They chump block one here. They take 15-16. So, I think it was a good effort. Um, What do I want here? Thassa's Oracle is pretty good against that stuff. Mana Flare seems a bit suspect. I don't think I need it. Well, yeah, I don't think I need Mana Flare. At which point I can cut Blood Crypt for just a Swamp. Go first. Yeah, this hand's good. I have Thassa's Oracle, so if they play Ashiok again, you know, they can't stop me. But yeah, them hitting my Tendrils was really rough. And they mulled a 6. Okay, no plays is good. As long as Demir's Signet comes down so I know I have double blue. Um, yeah. There, I could have played Rakdos Signet because then I could play Demir's Signet if I draw a land. There's a Saga, okay. Into Demir's Signet. So, this is the tough part. I think I just do it. I think I go Thrandynavo into Rakdos Signet. It just sets me up so well. For like following turns, if I draw Mind's Desire or Memory Jar, Time Twister, Time Spiral, and they have Urza Saga, so like even if they're not casting Ashiok, they're just making dudes. Yeah, Basalt Monolith is fine. They make a construct. It's a three three. That's fine. We draw Island. So I guess I do just cast Palancron. It does protect me and pressure them. Untap my lands. Last turn. And I have the ability to return Palancron to my hand too. But that's like, if they play Ashiok can pressure them and stuff. The Construct tokens are going to become 5-5s five though, I think. Nope, they didn't want to make another one. Okay. Seems weird they didn't want to make a Construct. But I'll probably... See, here's the weird part. Like, I kind of have to counter that so the Construct is fine. But at the same time, it doesn't do anything. I have 5 turns. I'll let that resolve. Or four turns. It just is so likely they have more artifacts that countering Boros Signet I don't think really stops them. Heroes of Downfall. Um, that I don't care so much about. Alright, deck. We need the goods. Um, so, part of me wants to almost just use Thassa's Oracle as like a... I'm going to wait one turn. This is going to hit me for like six, so I should have about three more turns. So this turn I wait, if I hit a blue source, then I can like Palancron, Thassa's Oracle and find a Time Twister in the top four. Um, I can also play Thassa's Oracle and Chump Lock. Okay, that's getting countered. So I have a ton of mana. I could cast my own Bolas' Citadel Island. Alright, you know what? We have a ton of mana, but that's actually not a huge problem because I get to go Palancron into Thassa's Oracle, pick the best card on top, they only have two cards in hand. One of them on top of your library, the rest on the bottom of your library in random order. Well, I don't want any of these, but I guess I'll take Yogmoth's will. Pass turn. I guess we can double block the constructs, but then they just kill my Palancron. That's not that bad. Ugh, okay, Treasure Cruise I don't love. I mean, okay, Thassa's Oracle was fine. It effectively drew me three cards because it got rid of the three lands on top of my deck. And there could be a world where I chump block with Thassa's Oracle and then just um, Yogmoth will back Thassa's Oracle to find the best card because I don't have much time. I think that's kind of what I want to do, right? Double blocking is also very tempting, but then I don't have a way to get Thassa's Oracle into my graveyard. I mean, actually, I don't mind losing Palantron. I think we'll just do that. And if they have a kill spell, I can bounce Palancron. Fatal push there. Okay, so now I can just bounce Palancron to hand. And this is like super chump block. That worked out so well. 
So yeah, as unfortunate as it is, I think I do have to go with the Yawgmoth Will play. Here we go, Palancron. Because I can reshuffle Yawgmoth Will. Like this. Untap all these lands. Cast Yawgmoth Will. Uh, I actually want to keep my lands untapped as much as possible because of um, Winter Orb. That could be a thing. Cast Yawgmoth Will. Then cast Thassa's Oracle. I guess Yawgmoth Will exiles itself. So we are going to have more trouble. Ugh. Why are there so many lands on top? I guess I'll put Emery. Okay, Hardcast Shark Typhoon is okay. Oh, that's a lot of sharks. Okay, so... 6-6. Six, six. I think we chump block the Construct here. Because again, we kind of want to be able to recast Thassa's Oracle. Oh, actually, that was a mistake. I was supposed to block and then bounce Palancron. That's actually what we're going to do next turn. Well, we milled Time Twister, which was the next draw, so that's unfortunate. Also, no artifacts. But the bottom of our deck is like seven lands, and we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So there's one land left in my whole deck, or like that I can draw at least. So we should be drawing action. Yeah, that's this is gonna become a problem. Here comes Mind Slaver. Yep. And now I need to draw a time spiral this turn. Yeah, so I'm gonna block and bounce. That's what I should have done last turn, but I think honestly having a Emery still in my hand, or the Thassa's Oracle in my graveyard is probably better. Because I, I don't have a way to kill it. So now I can shuffle it back in and then cast it as a win con. Duress. <laughs> oh boy. All right. I'm going to duress them because they're going to be able to mind slay for me. Cast Palancron. Untap my lands. And then they're going to mind slay for me, and that's going to be the turn I draw Time Spiral. Although, I think I'm actually just straight up dead due to mind slaver. So I don't think there's anything I can do here. So we can eat the 2-2, chump the 8-8, and then I'm just dead. Yeah, these matches went so badly for like how I could have played, or how it could have ran out. Like my opponent had the Narset to hit my thing. What are you going to hit off this? Dude, the boy, ah, no, God. Ah, that's so frustrating. All right. Do they cast it? That was the question. They're going to? No, they're just going to bounce Palancron. My only hope is they cast Time Spiral and somehow mess up. Alright, that's game. I can't do anything here. That's frustrating. See you guys next round. Alright, we're here playing as a Denogonizer. Let's keep this hand. Um, the plan is to just Mana Drain into something. Ideally an artifact. I mean, the best case would be like drawing Black Lotus. Because then I could just go like Black Lotus, Florian Academy, Time Twister. But if I can go like Mana Drain into Time Twister and on top with just a bajillion mana, that'd be good too. Ooh. Uh, mana Drain into Golos would be nice. They suspend Ancestral Vision and play Portent, targeting themselves. Okay. They have a lot of manipulation. Their deck looks good though. All Like as many blue one drops as you can possibly put into your deck. That's just a pretty good strategy. Except for, I don't think Delver of Secrets is in, but... Even honestly, if you just have pre important important Delver of Secrets would be good. It's just not, in general, a good cube card. And let's see if they've shuffled. Chose to not use Portent's ability. It doesn't say shuffle, it just says chose to not use the ability. Okay. Well, if they cast pretty much anything, I'm just mana draining because they have Ancestral Vision ticking down. And I need to act quickly. Yeah, I'm just going to mana drain that. Add a bunch of mana, so I can cast Golos, or I can cast Time Twister. I think Golos here is actually kind of good. This can give me a black source. And then I also have blue for Telerian Academy. Oh, they have green, okay. I can work with that, so we can go, we can do some stuff. Um, what are we feeling? So they have four mana available, Cryptic Command. Let's start by attacking. I don't think I'm going to go for a Time Twister this turn. Okay, down to 17. Let's go Telerian Academy, Wishclaw Talisman. See if that resolves. 
That does. I can wait one turn. It's just they kept off portent. So like they gotta have something going on. Oh. <laughs> Alright, you know, sometimes you just gotta time spiral yourself. Did not expect that one. That is a that is a bold move. I think I just win now. So I get to go uh yeah, land sensei's top. Cabal Ritual into... The Rand Dynamo costs nothing. Actually, it adds mana here. So we can... Have double blue here, Thran Dynamo. Holding up a black. I can Palancron. Untap everything. So that adds more. Um, at this point, I guess I just Time Twister. There's Black Lotus. Uh, Mind's Desire. Sure. That for blue. Then we're just going to Tendrils them. There's Mana Drain, so we have Protection. Yeah, this is pretty much over. So I can sack this for black. I could even go infinite with Palancron, I think. But there's no need to do that. We sack that for black. We cast Yawgmoth's Will. Cast Black Lotus. Sack that for blue. Just cast Emery because we can. Cast Relic. Tendrils them. Alright, that was easy enough. Turns out when your opponent Time Twisters into you, it's pretty easy to win. Um, I guess I'm going to bring in a Thassa's Oracle. Instead of this Mana Flare. I just have not felt like I needed Mana Flare ever. And I'm going to cut Blood Curve for a Swamp. Oh boy. This hand is probably too sketchy. Yeah, this one's better. I'm going to keep this and get rid of... Hmm. So we're going to play Chalice into Relic. Wishclaw Talisman I think I like more than Memory Jar. I'll just do that. Because basically at any time I can like Wishclaw for Black Lotus, Wishclaw for... I don't know. Anything else that's good. There's our Swamp. Maybe now I'm going to... Wishclaw turn 2, Relic turn 3, Chalice Kick turn 4? Well, no, not anymore. Oh, Black Lotus. Okay, um... Okay, what am I doing? Maybe I do just try and, try and go off really quickly now, because I have Black Lotus, I could just grab Yawgmoth's Will? Oh, they're just casting? Okay, that's weird. They probably have a counter spell. Oh, okay. Like Cabal Ritual, let's go for the Relic. If they counter this, that's fine. Okay, if that resolves, that's even better. So now, I mean, I just have so much mana. <laughs> this person is a big fan of the tap out. I mean, this I think this is a fine reason to tap out. Rory's Wake is powerful, but they're probably going to die here. Don't really know what their deck does, but it's okay. So we're going to add blue. Play a land. Play Cabal Ritual. Play Black Lotus. Do I want to just cast Everflowing Chalice so I don't draw it? I think the answer is yes. Cast this for zero. Then sack Black Lotus for blue. And we're going to Time Spiral, keeping up with black mana. Oh, I need to tap all of my lands, actually. Yeah, draw a whole new fresh hand, untap all of these. Okay. Um, I kind of messed up. I should have played Telerian Academy. And now I can't even Golos for Telerian Academy, which is a bit unfortunate. Drum count is four. I think I might just cast Time Twister. No, let's let's just go for value, I guess. We can Thran Dynamo, Emery, and then Time Twister. There's Black Lotus. Cast Black Lotus. Duress them. Disenchant, Demir Signet, Heartbeat of Spring. What does their deck do? I don't actually know. Uh, then we can Wish Claw Talisman for Tendrils of Agony. And hit them with Tendrils. Cool. Lethal 20. Clean turn 4 win. I don't know why I couldn't have done that those other games. I just... I don't know. <laughs> I guess my opponent literally did nothing these games. But kind of a good ending, I guess. I don't know. We got to storm out at the end there. Really, really rough match two and one, though. I mean, that was brutal. But I think our deck was all right. 
I think my biggest mistake was Thassa's Oracle not being in the main. Like, if my opponent in the Tendrils matchup, if I had Thassa's Oracle in the main, I just win that game easily. So, in Mana Flare, I never needed. So, I think it was a deck building error, um, cutting Mana Flare, maybe cutting Palancron, and just running Thassa's Oracle, maybe even running Dig Through Time, I think would have just made a better overall deck. So, the loss was on me, but the deck was sweet anyway. See you guys next time.